In Photoshop, there's a feature that is extremely powerful, yet often overlooked, Blend If. It can turn ordinary images into stunning effects in just a few seconds. Today, we'll explore how to use this tool in detail, and you'll see just how simple, yet powerful, it really is. When you open the Layer Style panel, you'll notice two black and white gradient sliders. Dragging the white slider hides the highlights, while dragging the black slider hides the shadows. If you hold Alt to split the sliders, the transition becomes smoother and more natural, instead of looking harsh. In Blend If, there are two options, Current Layer and Underlying Layer. With Current Layer, you remove the highlights or shadows of the active layer itself. With Underlying Layer, you let the highlights or shadows from the layers below show through. The best part is that Blend If is not just theory. It's incredibly practical in real creative work. Want to create a snow effect? Just add a new white layer. Then use Blend If to let the forest details show through. The result is a natural, realistic snowfall. To simulate sunlight through the leaves, paint warm highlights on the foliage. Switch to Color Dodge and adjust the sliders. The scene immediately feels lit by real sunlight. For a cyberpunk glow, brush neon colors along the edges of a subject. Set the layer to screen and use Blend If to let the shadows show through. The neon light wraps perfectly around the subject. When blending text with a street photo, Blend If makes the text interact with the light, so it feels naturally embedded in the scene. Beyond separating highlights and shadows, Blend If also works with the red, green, and blue channels. In the red channel, dragging the white slider removes reds and nearby colors like yellow and magenta. Dragging the black slider instead removes cyan, the opposite of red, along with green and blue. In the green channel, dragging white removes green, yellow, and cyan. Dragging black affects magenta, the opposite of green, which is made of red and blue. In the blue channel, dragging white removes blue, cyan, and magenta. Dragging black affects yellow, the opposite of blue, created from red and green. Each time you move a slider, Photoshop hides a whole range of related colors on the color wheel, not just a single hue. Keep this wheel in mind, and Blend If will feel much clearer and easier to use in complex blends. That's why Blend If is so powerful for complex blending. So with just a few sliders, Blend If lets you blend images and create effects quickly without the need for complicated masks. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to follow for more Photoshop tips and tricks. Thank you very much.